Hey viewers, this is me, Mario. Jeff on here, and if you watched my Comet Ison video, I told you about a comet that is meant to pass the sun on the 28th of November 2013. I make this video because it is exactly a week to the day before this event is meant to happen. So, what's going to happen to Comet Ison? This video will explore two main possibilities that will happen to the comet. Either A, getting sucked into the sun, or B, flinging right past the sun and going to a different orbit. Now first of all, right, I'd like to clarify. Comet Ison is not going to hit Earth. There are numerous videos on YouTube right now which shows that Comet Ison is the new Nibiru now, in case you don't know, Nibiru is a really unrecognised planet. But they say it's going to hit Earth, which is not going to happen anyway. And as it, and actually, this comet is meant to fly past 35 million miles away from Earth. So for that, that was just Java. Just close it down. Yeah, so, sorry for that. But anyway, this video now will be the part where I talk to you about the consequences and the possibilities of this comet. Co okay, so option A, the comet gets sucked into the sun. So assuming it gets sucked into the sun, it will go past the Roche point of the sun, where imagine my fist is the sun and this bit's the comet. It's a certain distance where any closer to that, you get sucked in. It's like a black hole, to be honest. When it gets sucked into a black hole. The event horizon. Now, bearing in mind, yeah, the sun's gravity is immense. I mean, the gravity on its surface is over 25 times what we experience on Earth. So, if you weighed 100 kilos, you weigh 2,500 kilos on the sun. That's only on the surface. Without going even deep into the sun. Now, the thing is, yeah, if Comet Ison managed to go past the Roche point, it will go past the sun, and then it will separate into many small sections, and then come hurtling into the sun. A little bit similar to what happened in 1994, when Jupiter encountered Shoemaker Levy 9, and that split to 20 different sections, and smashed into the planet. In fact, to this day, we can still see the marks from Shoemaker Levy 9. And it's probably the same thing with Comet Ison, if it's smashed into the sun. We will probably see, like, temporary sunspots for a while after the comet if it smashes into the sun. Part B. The comet does not smash into the sun. Now, if the comet manages to survive the Roche point and go flinging past the sun, this is most likely to happen. Now, the comet will not go into orbit and then smash into the planet. That is not going to happen. All right. What could happen though, and this is very unlikely, is the debris from the comet will cause a meteor shower. Now, by mid-January 2014, Earth is expected to go through the comet's tail path and the brief path. These bits may fall with a meteor shower, but the chances of that happening are very unlikely at all. There is not going to be any disturbance between Earth-Sun relations at all as well. So, as I'm aware, the comet is going to fly past on the 28th of November 2013. Uh, I haven't really got a time yet for this event. If I've got an exact time, I'll probably put it as a Universal Quality Time video. A couple of days before this event to happen. But, yeah, astronomers all over the world will be putting their eyes to the sun on the 20th of November 2013. For this historic pass, which probably won't happen in our lifetime again. So, yeah, just don't be around, really. Just be around and miss it. And whoever really does that, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, I want to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down here. And if you want to see the video about Comet Ice in the first place, which is in October 2013, 
Look in the description below. The first link in the description is the actual video there. Okay, so thanks for watching, and bye.